What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys, and today I have a review of the LEGO Voltron. Alright gang, we have finally made it. The Voltron lines are on my review desk, and we're gonna form Voltron. We're gonna review all of these guys, every last bit of it. It is a good old epic Ultrazilla review, old school. Haven't done a nice long one in a bit. This was definitely gonna take a bit. Voltron, Lego Voltron here. It comes with a bunch of extra parts. Oh, I formed a foot here. Um, you got extra tools, a bunch of little golden tools, you know, that you might need for whatever. I think they come with most of these big uh, Lego sets. I'm very inexperienced with Lego sets, so I hope you dug all my speed builds. I really wanted to get all of that on camera, and I'm glad I did, including the blazing sword and shield. Uh, it is a shield in my opinion. I don't care what, what the two seconds it's on the show says. It's a shield. I am more toyetic when it comes to these things. Anywho, uh, don't at me. Um, lots of extra stuff. So pretty cool. Always could come in handy when you want to do some mods or whatnot. And the Lego set, you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, I'd be remiss not to show you all. I'm not going to show you in that, but like these are all the books that came with the Lego Voltron. Each lion had its own book. Black lion having a thick, thick, thick book. But I got to say, that was the uh, the toughest build of them all. Um, some kind of weird directions in that one that I thought, you know, the other ones were pretty smooth. And I'd say the Black Lion, as far as build goes, was a little fiddly. And, you know, even now, I, my one gripe is probably, you know, build-wise with the Black Lion. Um, things kind of fall off him easily. Not really fall off, but, like, move around a little bit. And, like, this whole plate will come off. And we'll get into that further. But here they are, man. And I am so happy... Uh, to have gotten the set you know it's it's a cool one to have to build and i'm a huge voltron fan you know as you guys know <laughs> so this was a really great one to get and uh and build you know and my son uh built everything with me he didn't really want to build everything but he was there with me uh to do it you know um and that was cool you know, so he got his opinions in and uh, as we did it. So that was a lot of fun. It is a Lego set, you know, and kids love Legos. So, uh, but cool, you know, but this one, this one's, this one's for the big kid here, you know, and I I'm happy to say this is a really great Voltron piece. And I think Voltron collectors everywhere should definitely hop aboard and get this. Uh, it's one you're gonna want, I think. You know, in my opinion, it's one you're gonna want. Let's let's take a look at the lions, shall we? They turned out pretty grand, I think. You know, uh, especially the limb lions. Again, the black lion. Some weird things with that one. We'll get over, it, get to it. But I really like it. I like how all this looks. You know, all of them have the little symbol here on the thighs there, and that looks awesome. You know, not the symbol, but it, oh, look, I that upside down uh, so there you go there's something take that off put it the right way right here see we see stuff you know the like I said the cool thing about you know Legos is easy you know to to replace things and move things and shift things you know um, but you know, the good thing about Lego is they're pretty solid. And that's all I've ever heard is, like, Lego's really solid. And having done that Slubin Gypsy Avenger, which was not solid, and you saw me go crazy on that thing, um, this was a welcome thing. Even, like, with the few bits that do tend to come off pretty easy, like the cannon thing here comes off rather easily. Um but I won't try to pull it out, but you know, otherwise the look of 
the yellow line looks really great. I love the blue eyes. I love the silver nose. There's a, not, a lot of nice little silver bits around these guys. That's cool, you know? I really dig that. It's almost like die cast. Like, is it die cast? No. No, it's just silver, but it's, it's it almost feels it. You know, and there's a few different textures going on here with some of the bricks, and I, and I appreciate that. That's cool. Again, you know, for you guys that do do Legos, you know, this might be old half of you, but for me, it, it's new, and I like it. You know, I love this. He's got an articulated jaw, which is nice. The teeth look good. It's really cool. Um, yeah, let's look at the articulation. You got a swivel there at the upper leg there at the high, and you got a ratcheted knee and foot, just cool, and you get that with all of them, so very nicely done. Now this part does move up if you need to do it, you know, that's for the transformation mostly, but you know, then the tail is nicely articulated. With three different joints there as you can see the ball joints very nice I love the pieces on there that looks good a little extra armor the wings look very nice and the stickers all of them look great you know uh, easy to apply I, I pretty much got them almost all good I think the one here came out slightly not perfect but <laughs> Uh, all the rest of them, I think, turned out decently as far as placing the stickers. Um, so, pretty good. Yellow Lion looks awesome. Uh, I really, really dig it. I would have to say these back legs are a little loose. Like, I'm trying to, like, push them in more, but, like... I mean, not, like, loose loose, but looser than the rest. So, there you go. Really nice-looking Yellow Lion. The Blue Lion looks great as well. Really dig it, like his yellow eyes. Again, the silver nose is nice. I just like that they really cap, you know, made them different. They could have, um, you know, made them all the same, but they didn't. You know, it's all the same articulation. You know, same deal. You know, no need to for me to go into crazy details on all of this stuff. You know, they all got good details. Um, really like. The yellow bits on the tail, that looks good. Yellow there, it's nice yellow. The four there looks good. Nice piece, I'm just kind of checking over everything I did <laughs> now. I'm seeing that I put a different color here. I, I'm wondering if, if I made an error there, if there's like a little one of these in my baggie here. It might not be. I don't really see one, but eh, maybe that's right. <laughs> or maybe I used that piece for something else by mistake. Maybe that's the way it's... No, no, no. That's the way his tail should be. Okay. So there you go. A little lighter on the tail. How about that? I like the red. That looks really good on the middle. So really nice red there. So I, I dig it. These lines look great, guys. I love how their little nails look. Little toes. I like how they all have these little extra pieces. They they just work really well as lion mechs. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it works out very nicely. Now the uh the arm lions here are a little different with the articulation. Their mouths do not open unfortunately, uh, but they have more articulation. There you could go back and forth. You see that they're on two balls. There. You can't go this way. But you could go side to side. And the legs move this way. Oh. You do have to watch out that you can pull them out pretty easily. Same basic articulation on the legs. Uh, they only have two joints at the tail. This one's more of a this one's a hinge actually. Oh, they're both hinges, as opposed to the bigger lines where they're uh, ball joints. Uh, this has a you know joint here for elbow articulation, which is nice. The green one is, looks really good though. I really like the silver running up the top here. And the three looks good. Again, all that looks nice. I love the curvature here 
on that uh, piece that looks good you got a little bit of like that fake gold there that's nice so really good I can see I see uh, here I just <laughs> did one upside down there so I gotta fix that we'll fix it I'll fix it right now why not there you go the green line looks good really like his yellow eyes let's take a look at the red line Wow, how many of these? This is so easy to like mess up. I, I think I messed up a, a little bit of every one of them. Red line looks good as well though. Yellow eyes look nice. And uh, the silver again, man, really stands out. They did a great job with that. Again, two looks awesome. Same articulation points as the green. So really, really nice looking lines. I, I mean, I don't think they like messed up on any of the details. They just look fantastic. Uh, and I don't feel like they look like, this is interesting because I don't feel like they look like a cartoony version of Voltron. I think they do a great job of really just capturing the lions. You know what I'm saying? Like, and not being cartoony at all. Just looks perfectly, Voltron as far as the limb lawns go this guy's a little odd uh, we're gonna look at him now uh, I'm gonna move these guys just a little bit out of the way um, he's a little bit odd all right so let's bring him closer now the first thing that like throws me off is I feel like there's just like pieces of it that like it's kind of look unfinished compared to some of the other ones. You know, I want some sort of covering for this and we, we, we didn't get it. <laughs> Nothing in here. Um, I, I don't know, that's really glaring to me. And then, like I said, there's like his, you know, you got the Voltron mat head in here and it kind of tends to come off these little, what are eye, I mean, eyes, the early joints, comes off it pretty easy. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, and then this whole piece, not only does his head come off easy, but this piece here comes off pretty easy too. So yeah, you don't really want his head coming off too easy. And like, usually the black lion is my favorite lion but not so much here it is huge it, it does look cool um overall kind of sort of like his head like you can make his head go up more like this but then you know the mouth only goes that far you do get a little bit of a tongue there uh, <laughs> because of Voltron's nose but you know it looks all right I like this the shield there on his head that looks really nice it's uh it's like metallic all around metallic red metallic silver silver on his nose again you got gold up here on his ears which looks really good like real gold like you can see this is the you know plastic gold there's like kind of three shades of gold there going on the metallic gold looks super super nice i do like how the eyes look i do think it looks a little cartoony here at least because um, the, the way this little slit comes up over there, so it looks like there's little eyeballs in there, which to me is kind of funny uh, compared to the rest. Um, the tail, I feel like should be a little longer, maybe one more segment, but that's fine. You know, I, I don't, I don't hate it, but it could have been one more segment. It does feel a little, a little short, and it just kind of sits a little weird. Um, it's okay, but it does sit a little weird. These back legs are huge. Um, you do have these nice gold little round things here at, at the thigh, that looks nice. So, there's a butt. You know, on the top you have the folded up wings. Could have had some plates over those as well. You know, it's a slight nitpick, but there are some pieces that look, oh, hey, he's missing something here. He is definitely missing, uh, piece on his neck so I'll have to uh, investigate that in between cuts um, should be like that it's probably in the box but the box is on the other side of my my review my uh, work chair so can't get to it right now but uh, I'll, uh, I'll fix that in a, in a sec I hope 
Um, oh, no. Actually, it's on the floor next to me. His head did fall off right before the review. And that piece came off. So there you go. Uh, yep, like that. So let's pop that back in. Ah, okay, now, now I feel better. So, and there you go. That's what he looks like. Articulation. As you can see, his head moves this way. His mouth does open. But you do reveal the uh, the Voltron head again. Um, the legs. This this one's probably the least articulated. Just move on these like little ball joints there at the knee. The top part does not move. The feet do move. The feet do move here. Uh, and back there, but nothing at the thigh here at all. And you saw the tail articulation. And if you want to open up the wings, you can. You can do that. My son likes that. So, and I do like popping these over here because it stays better. I don't really like how they look just sitting on top. So, to me, I think that looks cooler. The one is there again. That's probably the one number I put slightly off. I don't feel like raising it, and I won't see it in Voltron mode. And that's how I'm going to be displaying these guys. So, otherwise, it does look good, you know, um, no doubt. But I, I, I think it's the weakest. I, I honestly do. And plus the way his legs kind of don't, um, the back legs don't sit flush on, on the ground, I think is... Is a bit weird, you know, the way it's built. The legs are built out to the sides. It's an interesting choice. I don't know about it, but it is an interesting choice. It is something they did. So, but there you go. That's all the lions. You know, um, I think they look pretty good overall, that's for sure. Um, you know, I mean, again, I won't be having them in this mode, but if I wanted to, uh, I'd be happy, you know, that they looked the way they did. So pretty good on Lego's part there. Some of the the best uh, the best lines I've seen, I think. Before we move on, let me give you some quick size comparisons in this mode with some other lions this is uh this is not the solo of chogokin this is the fantasy jewel ko of the red line from solo chogokin um but it's the same exact size so and this one was out so there you go it's also the only one i got of this um don't think i'm gonna get the rest but i don't know yet <laughs> uh there you see how much bigger these guys are and will be ultimately from the soc uh, here is a Trendmasters Voltron, which is based on the original mold, the black lion. So you can see how much bigger it will be up from that. And what I think will probably ultimately be comparable in size, I think, uh, here is the blue lion from the recent uh, Playmates version uh, which I really liked so see much bigger height wise but we'll see when they're all together how uh, how they turn out but there you go I just wanted to give you some quick you know Voltrons lions Voltron lions to to compare to so there you go on that and also before we start Form in Voltron. I did want to show you this book it, come, it came with. Uh, it's pretty awesome, you know. There's a lot of nice things in there, like write-ups on all the pilots and stuff, which is cool. And some of the extra character, you know, supporting characters, bad guys, the mice. Um, you know, a little write-up on Lundy, the guy that created the, you know, the original. Uh, Voltron Lego line that we all voted on uh, so cool on him from Lego ideas he has a little write-up in there and then kind of the evolution uh, and the the team that uh, ultimately designed it based on Lendy's design 
and all the different Voltron that they went through. It's kind of cool the design process to read about. And then it has a, a bunch of different languages. And then it shows you how to put Voltron together and put the shield and, and sword together. So it's a pretty cool book. You know, all these books are. But there you go. Definitely want to show you that, you know, uh, because it's, it's you know, they put in efforts, uh, Lego. So it's worth showing. All right, slight camera adjustment later, and we're ready to form Voltron here. And I'll probably have to adjust the camera a few times here to uh, <laughs> uh, get it perfectly right. Let me just switch these guys to the right side here, or else I'll I'll be I'll be putting them the wrong way. So pretty simple. You want to click that one; it kind of clicks out of here. You hear it, and then up here you're gonna hear a click as well. Click. These guys, standard Voltron fare here. Uh, now, I find, that even though it's supposed to be up like this, I, I, as you can see, it's a little wobbly when you do that. So I find just putting it down, his legs, as an extra um, little holder there, is the proper way to go on that. Um, these, I believe, just go like this. I'll clean it up afterwards. And there's a lot of cleanup that could be done with these. I'll turn that. Blue line's pretty much done. Same ba basic deal here with the yellow line. I'll get it to click up. There you go. Because there's no real spots for these legs to go. There, there's a bunch of things, you know. I, I have some ideas, let's just say that. To make it a little better going forward. The arms. Oops, I think they come off. Um, pretty easy. Now, how do they have these? That is one of the things I'm gonna be doing, is I'm gonna be taking off, and I'll just say it right now, uh, these limbs. You know, I wanna leave them on right now just to, to show you guys, but for sure, um, and that just kinda goes over the tail as well. Yeah, these select limbs. These, all these limbs here, just kinda wanna cooperate. So it is, it's just the way it's built and I mean, it's Lego. So <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna fault them too much. There's only like so much that they can do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's basically that. And this came off. Here again. It's not the screen line's not really and this part fell off. Doesn't want to oh see? Now we're getting now we're getting some some parts falling fall off. Oof, these legs. Okay. You guys you guys stay to the side here. Let's get the, the black line ready. So here we got some parts forming. I'm gonna take this off. You know, it's kind of, you know, it just, it reminds me of like the Zord Builder, honestly. Um, simple though. Straighten out the legs as you would do. Let's bring in these legs. And now the cool thing is it has like little clips here and uh, got some hair on there. Uh, and then you want to clip them to the bottom here. So pop that in, and it clips in nicely. That's for sure. Nice and secure. So there you go. Adjust, and let's see what we could do up here. 
Okay, so up here, my camera is. Okay, wants to move. So the same thing, you want to take this out. And you'll put these legs down, like so. And then this will clip in this way. Obviously, you know, Voltron 101. Match up the red. Pretty simple. The wings. Uh, you want to put the wings up actually while these were out. That's the best thing to do because the wings are kind of heavy uh, and they do tend to want to fall down a little bit. So you want it to be able to rest. Okay. On the shoulders here, like so. Flip up the tail. Oh, you've seen the Voltron starting to form here. These, and I lost the foot. I lost the foot, guys. There's a, <laughs> there's a stray foot here somewhere. It's not important. <laughs> yeah. So here, we have these two pegs here. I'm gonna go, you know, line it up. Oh. Pop it in. Same deal on the other side. I'm, I'm not even gonna put these foot, feet back in because ultimately I'm gonna take them off. And then of course, you're gonna wanna form the head. So you flip down his bottom jaw, flip down the top and open up his wings, his wings, his ears. And there you go guys. That is Lego Voltron. Let's uh, let's get off the tripod for a second here. Give you an up and down look. Looks pretty good. Now, in this mode, he is kind of cartoony. There's no doubt about it. He's huge. He's a big guy now. Really big guy. <laughs> um, but I, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it is what it is. It's still, it's still a, a Lego. So, you know, there's that part of it. You know, like, so you're gonna, it's not gonna be like completely accurate. And I'm gonna bring in a size comparison right now because it's one I want to see. They're, uh, they're the same size. They're pretty much the same size, and like his wings turn out and make him a little bit bigger than the Playmates one. But pretty much, you know, he's a little beefier uh, in the like arms, but like leg wise, like the Lego one is beefier. So it's a different aesthetic, but I think they both <laughs> look pretty good. Um, and you know, the Playmates one came out at the uh, top of the year, or late last year, depending on where you live. For me, I didn't get this guy uh, till January or so, uh, or February, like before I found them all. I can't remember exactly. Um, so they're both gonna be contenders to be in my tops of the year, because I, I really, I mean, I love Voltron, so that's a no brainer. So. There you go with that. Ooh, he's big. We might do some more size comparisons later, but I just I had him right here, so I wanted to show you. But here he is, and I mean, again, there's some concessions here that they had to make for sure. Like you saw it, like um, there was like so many different things they they had to decide on and whatnot. So like. You know, but overall, I 
think it turned out pretty well. Um, you know, like I wish they would have like here. You see, like this, like faux. Let's bring him in for more details. Like a uh, crown there. <laughs> I, I I wish it was a little like lower so you could actually tell what it is. Um, but again, that's something you can modify. There's two levels here of stuff, so you can't take one of them out. Um, but it ends up looking decent enough. Like I do wish maybe this was like a, like they had a better way to shape this. But I do love the silver plastic here. That looks really good. And you know, the, the little plastics inside look very nice. Um, so, you know, the different colors, they did a good job of doing that. You know, like his little, his little uh, gold belt here, uh, buckle that looks nice, you know, and a little gold on the sides. So they, they did what they could, you know, um, and I commend them for it. You know, it, it looks decent enough. Like the head, it's, that, that's probably the most cartoony, but like again, I, I have to say it's kind of cool because again, it it's Lego. Like I, you want it to have a Lego aesthetic as well, so um, that's something you definitely have to consider. And again, they did. Ooh, my mic. Um, they did so great with the the lines individually um, that I kind of don't mind that the end product looks a little cartoony because that's going to be a little bit different for the shelf um so i i like it i i do like one of the things i'm also gonna mod though is like uh i think some parts of his head um like this little extra layer here uh i'll probably like like take these two things apart and just Go with this. I feel like that looks better. What do you guys think? Like I feel like it's too high this way. I know it's probably more accurate to have it higher. Um, all right, kind of, sorta. Just because I, I know what they're trying to do, but it just looks a little awkward to me. Um, but the head doesn't look bad. I like the mouth that they painted on here. That looks pretty good. I get a little closer there. The way they worked out the, like the eyebrows and the eyes, you know, uh, it's it's kind of fun to see. And this is like, faux like bottom jaw like teeth, um, you know, it works. It definitely works. Like it's not bad. I, I like seeing how this came together, that's for sure. When I built it, it was just kind of fun to see how all the layers built up into this. And then to finally put the, this together, and I put this together for the first time last night, you know, it's just cool. You know, it works like, it's just so much fun. It was definitely satisfying uh, to do so. And I'm gonna start taking these limbs off because the, the cool thing is you could definitely just, you know, this is the, the you know, and I started this because they started falling off. I, I had to cut the video for a second there, so I don't know how much you saw of that, but uh, as of right now, but these are like, to me, that's like the part of the aesthetic that I don't like the most is how these legs and tails look, but that's what's great about this. You know, like just take them off. And then you got like a more cartoon aesthetic. And I think that's awesome. Like the fact that you can do that so simply, uh, you know, I don't like that little hook there, but yeah, but I, 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 but that's another simple mod, you know, to take out that piece. But for now, let's just take off the tails there. Get this more situated nicely. Um, and you can go either way with the, this, or you can take it out completely. But I do like this aesthetic. I think that looks cool. I don't want it completely blank. I think that'll be, I don't know. Mm, see, it, I, that's too empty there. So definitely wouldn't like to do that. But to me, that looks so much better um, for 
as a Voltron, you know, like I, I really dig that. It makes it feel better to me. Like a little more like free to move. Which I think is great, especially on the red line. Red line looks super clean. Um, this, you know, kind of bangs into here, but I could deal with that. But look how much cleaner that is. You know, again, a little bit of a, I don't know where this is attached. If it's easy, it's easy. It's an easy one. Pop. A little bit of a fixilla here, right in the middle of the video. That's great. Boom. Cover is up, up nicely, and there you go. <laughs> awesome. How much better is that? I think that looks fantastic. Uh, and you know, like I don't, I don't really mind the little black line feet underneath him. That's fine. You know, I mean, you could click these out, take them right out. It's the beauty of it. Even cleaner. It's nice, guys. I mean, once you start doing stuff like that. Pretty nice. Now the legs, I don't know. I mean, you can, but you gotta have to remove this piece, um, which I think goes straight through. I'm not gonna do that now, but that's definitely something that'll help um, just make it a little less bulky in the legs because he's pretty bulky in the legs. But he does look good. I think the, the blue and yellow line look great as legs. So there's that, and he's pretty sturdy. He stays together. That These clips are really uh, done pretty well. So it looks good on the bottom, and again, they're pretty sturdy. He's in this like, like kind of a, like outward stance here, um, and that's just the way he's gonna stand because he's got no articulation there, guys. No articulation in the legs at all. So you do get in the feet, you know, of course, if you move these a little bit, but no articulation at all in the legs. So if you're an articulation nut, this is not really for you. Um, it's it's a cool piece. It's not gonna be like a really heavy play piece. Uh, it's definitely for collectors more. So just look at looking at the other articulation though. The shoulders do move that way. You can't go, uh, you can't really go out. <laughs> It just comes out. Uh, then you got elbow movement there and uh, wrist movement. The head does turn, so that's cool. And that's it, that's all his articulation. The wings do move if you want them to, um, but they do look good. The wings, I do like how they turned out. I think they look pretty decent, um, so not bad. Proportionally, I don't mind them. I think he's, He's pretty cool. Um, I wish he was able to stand like outwards a little more, like his arms a little bit, just to give him more dynamic posing at least. But it is what it is. Uh, I think it looks fine. I like it at least. <laughs> Bringing in his accessories. Uh, and I did do a really quick speed build of these. Here is the star shield weapon rotating weapon whatever you want to call it to me it'll always be a shield um you know like i've had this argument many times with other voltron collectors i don't care it's a shield to me and that's it <laughs> it looks really good uh it's you know as far as toys go it's silver uh all on the edges here it looks really nice i really like how the uh, yellow and red look there, but that looks really good and these all move So that's pretty cool. I dig that So very nice um, We do have a little handle here so, uh, Now you see the red and the green line have little handles there. There you go with that holds up pretty well So that's nice And then there is a blazing sword which looks like a rocket ship is about to take off. But it's cool. You know, it works um, decently enough, I guess. Uh, and I here's something I really, 
<laughs> Why didn't I realize that before? These are these are wrong. On the wrong sides, aren't they? Something's wrong here. What's off? These parts are off, aren't they? I see what I did. I see it now. It's okay. These parts are off. I, I don't want, eh, let's just do it. Let's do it guys. Let's not lose pieces, but let's make it right. Make it right, make it right. How is that? Okay. So that will go on top. Get a little extra building. So all kinds of stuff happening in this video. And that, no, that's, what did I do? Okay. Aha, I see. No, I do not see. <laughs> Something is off here and I can't figure out what it is. Uh, how did they? Oh, I see. Silly me. Silly me, it was a simple, simple mistake here. There you go. Ah, now it looks more Blazing Swordish. Uh, and it looks good. I like the silver here, right in the middle. That's really nice. And then the handle has a nice dark blue that flips out. That's really cool. You got the red in there and the nice blue there. It's, it, it's nice. It works. Um, it's it's much better than the, the Playmates one, which is just a plain gray. Uh, and so that's good. This is also more expensive than the Playmates. This runs you about 175 bucks. So yeah, there's that. Um, so it better be. <laughs> so to put it in this hand, you actually have to uh, take off a few pieces, uh, one piece here. First off, take this part off. You want, you need this. So you put that back in. You want to take this part out completely, so. It's just for show if you want to show this uh, otherwise. Um, but this, you would stick one side in here and the other side on the bottom. Where is it? Where? Let's go. All right, there you go. And then you put that there. And that's how it looks with the blazing sword. Um, well, the sword is not really blazing right now. And I think it looks pretty cool. It, it looks good in its hand. It's nice and big. Uh, another complaint I had with the Playmates one is it should have been bigger, the sword. But that's a huge, huge, huge sword. Uh, and it looks cool. And both of them, um, both the weapons or the shield and the weapon, what have you, like... It definitely adds to this Voltron. Like, just makes him feel n huge and beefy. Uh, and I dig that. So, let's do a little handheld again. Go up and down on this guy. Uh, and take a look. Because it looks really good, guys. He looks great with his weapons. So, I like it. I think it's... Pretty awesome. Um, it's just a different looking Voltron for your shelf, and if you're a Voltron collector, again, I think it's one you're gonna want to have. And especially like doing these slight little modifications, I think it really, really helps. Uh, also, I mean, you can't even take out these little back pieces, so you won't even see that. Um, there's a lot you could do with Lego that makes it easy and uh, not consequential <laughs> you know like uh so it's pretty awesome uh doing some quick quick a couple of quick size comparisons for you here in this mode here is the little uh metal defender legendary voltron so you can see that's a beast um you know we already saw him with the playmates so it's like you know this guy is about 16 inches tall there so that's pretty cool and here he is with uh Trendmaster's plastic one uh, and you can see this is standard size like classic Voltron you can see how much bigger he is so and that's it guys 
you know, that's all I'm going to do with size comparisons. He's big, and I don't want to have to get a billion things here. Um, if you want to see a regular size figure, here's Winter Soldier. You can see he's just huge. There's that line again. You know. It's just a, a big dude, a big honking Voltron, and I really like it. And I might, I am struggling as I do with big guys at my normal uh, review space. So, but it looks awesome. Definitely check out my Instagram for uh, more pics of this guy coming up. I'll definitely have, uh, I'll have pics with him with various Voltrons in the coming days. So definitely check that out. But otherwise, I think that's it. I think I'm good. It's, it's a good Voltron and I dig it. You know, I'm happy that I bought it. It is awesome. It was fun to build. And yeah, you know, I hope you dig it too. So let me know if you got it and uh, if you had any troubles building it or anything, if you enjoyed it, how, what your feelings are and the overall aesthetic. I think it came out great. I do. I really do. I really, really dig it. So, and that's it. So please like, comment, subscribe, click the bell and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.